you lock your windows pc with a password and think it's safe right but here's a glitch someone can actually unlock it within seconds no usb no hacking tool nothing fancy just a little trick hidden inside windows itself and here is the surprising part even if you use microsoft online account you are not completely safe in this video i'm not showing you how to hack I am showing you how a hacker could take advantage of these built-in features so you understand the risk and know how to protect yourself. This is only for awareness and by the end of this video, you will know exactly what step to take to close this loophole for good. So without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, what I will do is I will randomly turn my system on and off such that windows start in auto repair mode. And there we go. Windows is right now in repair mode. Now go to advanced option. And then here we need to click on troubleshoot. Then advanced option. And here we have this command prompt. So let's click on it. And now type notepad. Now click on file. Open. And then here go to this PC. And then here in E drive. First thing here, I want to see what is the username that I would like to get access of. So I'm going to click on users and then here uh, you can see the username that I would like to get access of is this one, which is P R W -E, e T. So I'm going to note down the username that I'm going to use later on to change the password. Now let's go one level up and then windows. And then here system 32. Now from here change this to all files. And look for SETHC. Okay. And there we go. We have got this file. Now make a right click. Click on rename. And now add one to it. Hit enter. Now we also need to do the same with CMD. So basically what we are doing here is we are swapping CMD with sticky file. Now search for CMD and rename it to SETHC. Now hit enter. Now close this. And again, you know, close everything and simply click here on continue to Windows 11. Now press five times shift. Now here you need to type. Now in this case, I know my username is following, which is, and then I'm gonna say one, two, three, four. Now let's hit enter. Now seems like Windows have done some patchwork here. That's why I'm not able to reset the password for this user. But what we can do here is we can try the another way which is by utilizing the local administrator account because all the windows have got this in the system and for that we first of all need to activate that account so let's do that user and then i'm gonna say add administrator then forward slash active and then i'm gonna say colon yes let's hit enter and now here you can see we have enabled the uh, administrator account. Now again, um, I'm going to say net user and then administrator now space. And then I'm going to write one, two, three, four, hit enter. And there we go. So here it says uh, command setup successfully. Now again, I'm going to go back and I'm going to say here administrator and now I'm going to type here one, two, three, four and bam. Now I have access to this computer. And since this is administrative account, so it should have even a full unrestrictive power over your system. It can bypass your Microsoft account restriction because it's purely local. If you leave it enabled, anyone with access to your PC can log in. Once you are done testing, one should disable it for safety. And there we go. So you have complete access to the system. 
and now let's try to have access on i would say uh users and then i'm gonna try to access other account for example this was my another account that now i can access data of and then um this is public of course we can access public data and in this way guys you have full authority full access to it now let me again go back and let me lock it so in order to disable the user administrator all you need to do is again you need to open cmd and then type net space user and then the username which is in this case administrator i'm going to type administrator and then i'm going to say forward slash active and then colon and then no now that's you have seen how shockingly easy it is to abuse a windows windows own recovery tool and here is the important part how you stay safe so step number one enable bit locker encryption BitLocker encryption is a very powerful tool that even utilized by most of companies. Without it, anyone with physical access to your machine can tamper with system file. Step number two, keep your system updated. Microsoft quietly patches weaknesses like these all the time. Step number three, if you never use accessibility shortcut like sticky keys that one may exploit, just turn them off. And finally, don't keep your laptop unattended in public or shared space. Remember, the goal is to make your system such a hard target that attackers move on. If this video opened your eyes, share it with everyone. You might protect someone else's data too. Stay safe, stay aware, and I will see you in the next one.